Hello everybody again. Uh, in this session we will cover the indications of veneers. Uh, so by the end of this session everyone should be able to list the different indications of veneer and this is, will help us to select the suitable case for a ceramic veneer. Before we start the uh, indications I have to list what is the advantage and disadvantage or pros and cons of uh, ceramic veneers. The, the, the first advantage is its durability. Ceramic veneer is a durable restoration. In one uh, research they found that the ceramic veneer can last for more than 20 years. This means that this type of restoration is a durable restoration. However, its durability will depend in uh, uh, making a precise preparation and strict to the bonding protocols of the restoration. Uh, also, one of the advantage of the ceramic veneer is the minimal invasive treatment. It is very conservative because our preparation will be only for 0.5 compared to for the crown, it will be about one millimeter, so it is considered, it is limited to enamel, it does not penetrate dentin. Uh, also for ceramic veneers, we can have a modification, shape, uh, inclination, position, and surface modification could be done by a ceramic veneer. However, only minor change in the shape or inclination of the teeth could be corrected by ceramic veneer. As the preparation is completely in enamel, so it frequently does not require anesthesia. Also, it is effective in change in shade and the color. You can use a veneer to change the shade and the color of the tooth. One of the most important advantage of veneer is the light transmission, because the, the ceramic is translucent, so this is, will be resembling the enamel of the tooth. It will give you a lifelike restoration through light transmissions. G good tissue response also, because a glazed porcelain will be very compatible. It will not initiate uh, inflammation of the gingiva or predontia like the resin. So it is one of the most biocompatible material used in dentistry. And as a speed and simplicity, usually for ceramic veneers, we'll do our preparation and the second visit will be for bonding. We are, have many drawbacks or disadvantages for ceramic veneers. One of them, it is irreversible. Also, it is conservative, but still it is irreversible. And also, precise preparation is required. Because if you do not make a good preparation for the veneer, this is could lead to failure of your ceramic veneers. Also, the high cost of the ceramic veneer we consider as an disadvantage or for ceramic veneers. Low temporization uh, retention. During our discussion about how to make the temporization of veneer, we will know that it is difficult to, to maintain the temporary restoration for veneers and also difficult bonding procedures Usually bonding procedures for six veneers or eight with nine veneers will require about two hours for successful bonding. And one disadvantage is of the ceramic veneer is inability to repair. If it is fractured, you have to replace them. For the indications, we will go for the first indication of veneer is color defects and abnormalities could be corrected by ceramic veneer. This is include amelogenesis imperfecta, medications like tetracycline, mild tetracycline stains, and trauma. When we select the amelogenesis imperfecta, we have to select the minor types of amelogenesis imperfecta because in severe cases, the enamel will be compromised, so we cannot rely on bonding of this compromised enamel. So veneers are indicated for mild or minor amelogenesis imperfecta. Also, mild medications or tetracycline stain. We can see in the screen different types or severity of tetracycline. The most severe type is not good for veneers to be replaced or to change the color by veneers because the ceramic is translucent. So this dark color will be showing through the veneer. In this situation, you have to go for uh, more opaque restoration like zirconia crowns. But for the mild and moderate tetracycline stain, stains, which still we can use a veneer to mask these discolorations. Trauma. When we have a trauma for the anterior teeth and you have root canal treatment and the tooth is not uh, fractured or it is sound, only have a conservative axis, but there is a discoloration due to 
dead of the pulp, we can use a veneer as a conservative way to correct the shade of a traumatized tooth. However, if it is fractured, or we have a fracture or restorations, the better will be to use a crown, post and core and crowns. Uh, shape abnormalities like microdontia, sm small congenitally sm small teeth, also malformation, all of this big shape lateral, all of this could be corrected by ceramic veneers. Spacing also could be a big shape lateral spacing between the teeth, all of this could be corrected by rotation and the change of angulation. However, it should be limited to slight inclination or rotation because if you have severe inclination or rotation, it could not be corrected because it requires much more uh, correction. So we have to go for conventional crown or sometimes we have to go for uh, orthodontic treatments. This is a case that could be corrected by a ceramic veneer when we have a minor inclination or overlapping by the tooth. Uh, uh, lingo version of the tooth also could be corrected by a veneer. But in the second uh, photo in the slide, we can see we have major inclination or major rotation. This is, will not be a good to be corrected by a ceramic veneer. Uh, structure or texture abnormalities like attrition, erosion, abrasion, or coronal fracture, all of this uh, could be corrected by a veneer, tooth abrasion. However, before selection of these uh, cases for, to be treated by veneer, we have to know that uh, at least we should have 50% of enamel is present. If more than 50% of enamel have been lost, it is not good for a veneer. This is a, an example of tooth abrasion, uh, tooth attrition. All of this could be corrected by veneer. Diastema closure, one of the indications of uh, using a ceramic veneer is when you have a central diastema or multiple diastema, but this diastema should be limited to three millimeters because if it's more than three millimeters, we will have a problem regarding the length width ratio. So if you more than three millimeter, you have to go for an orthodontic treatment because if you correct it by ceramic or even by conventional crown, you will have a problem regarding the length width ratio because the ratio between the length and width should be between 75 to 80 percent. More than three millimeter uh, diastema means that the width Wooden's ratio will be compromised, it could be rich, will be one to one, so it will be very ugly. Excessive wear, another indication for when you have a wear of the anterior teeth, so the veneer could be used for lengthening of the teeth. And missing laterals, so congenitally missing lateral, when we have a congenital missing lateral, so we can reshape the canine to be in the form of lateral incisor. Lensing, if I need to make lensing, if I have short teeth, so you can use a veneer as a, a means for increasing the length of the veneer. To summarize the indications of veneer, we can see we can use veneers in color defects and abnormalities, shape abnormalities, position abnormalities, structure or texture abnormalities, diastema closure, lengthening and missing, congenitally missing lateral incisors. These are the indications for veneer. The next session will be regarding the contraindication of veneer. Thank you and goodbye.